The story of Homeless revolves around the night of a security guard being stopped by a deranged killer, but not everything is what it seems. The game starts off in the year 1998 in the city of New York, the city that never sleeps. A subway night guard who is fed up with his life promptly despises the rich that lives in the city, mostly because he believed he could live like them when he first arrived here, meaning that he lived in poverty throughout his life till this moment. The man's name is Albert Smith and soon after finishing his cigarette and getting lung cancer, he goes back to his camera room to look for any homeless individuals loitering around the subway station. He finds a broken power unit in the subway and goes to investigate, but things take a more sinister turn when he finds an individual moving about the subway station tunnels. Assuming him to be just another homeless man, he goes back to the camera room only to find a tall, slender looking man that stares directly at the camera as if he is looking into your soul. Albert goes back to investigate but finds no one there other than a head of a man inside an oven being cooked. He also finds a secret room that looks like someone is using to make human cuisine for a man named Vulture. Exploring more of the subway, Albert discovers that all of communications are down, possibly messed up by the same man he saw in the camera who may have had killed someone and placed his head inside that oven. Just soon after, Albert finds the rest of the body inside a bathroom stall with a note attached to it that reads about the man named Vulture buying an expensive Manhattan penthouse which Albert assumes is a tall man and the dead body belongs to Robert, the man selling the penthouse. Albert quickly makes his way to the camera room to call the police, but he finds the phone lines dead. He also becomes paranoid as he keeps seeing a man with mysterious dressings staring at him through the windows. Albert then checks the camera, only to find Vulture straying through it, asking for permission to eat him and not in a flirtatious way. He goes back into the subway for God knows what reason, only to get jumped by a vulture, knocking him out. Albert then hallucinates his childhood home, where he meets the same man stalking him through the windows and he discovers a dead body near his old home. He enters and finds himself there, which suddenly turns into the tall man and he sees that vulture is standing beside him with the dead body in front of them and Albert is holding a knife. Albert assumes he wants him to take the fall for murder, so he picks up the shotgun that drops down there along with the body of a biker who may have accidentally stepped on something that he shouldn't have. And then he starts shooting at Vulture, eventually killing him, though at the end we do see Vulture's face that starts smiling. The game then ends with a notice saying that the police found no trace of Vulture and assume Albert to be the killer and place him in a mental institution because of his psychotic tendencies. And a photo appears at the end of the game that looks like the one shown at the end of Shining, showing Vulture at the opening day of the Brooklyn Station in the year 1924. Now the ending shows that Vulture did in fact exist and that he is a separate entity that roams the subways. The entity probably has a way to feed off of negative feelings from the person's self-consciousness and is able to manipulate them into doing heinous crimes. The entity must have exploited Albert's childhood trauma and of his life living in poverty making him despise the rich, eventually leading him to, commit the, to commit the crime in the first place. As for the man in the mysterious dressing, it could be just his father, Joe Smith, who may have murdered Albert's mother and ran away, forever living in hiding. As shown by the past sequence, Spirit also seems that the entity is witnessing as well to fully manipulate Albert into doing his bidding possibly following in his father's footsteps.